this act won Best Newcomer at the Edinburgh Fringe. How good is that? Can I just say, I didn't win Best Newcomer. Um, I got nominated? <laughs> yeah, lower your expectations. <laughs> this is nasty, man. I've never been here before. My name is Darren Harrier. Uh, I'm British. Yeah. I'm black British. I like being black British because you can brag about the British Empire but have none of the guilt. <laughs> oh, it's a rare win. <laughs> this is great, man. I'm not a religious person, but I, I, I got like a religious family, you know? My family are Rastafarians. You guys know about Rastafarianism? It's basically Christianity, but a little bit cooler. <laughs> That's it, Rastafarians looked at Christianity and they went, nope, nope, add Rizzler. <laughs> and because of this, my family, right, my dad, uh, my dad uh, is a drug dealer. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> My brother, drug dealer. <laughs> Cousins, drug dealers. Then you've got me, comedian. <laughs> and still my mum's like, when are you gonna get a real job? <laughs> so many drug dealers in my family. My family tree is a cannabis plant. <laughs> my brother looks like a proper drug dealer as well, like stereotype man. Like looks like me, taller, always wearing track suits. Not an athlete. Right? It's not. Mouthful of gold teeth. Yeah. It's not a positive, is it, gold teeth? You've never seen somebody with a gold tooth and thought, ooh, taxpayer. <laughs> that is the drug dealer's bow tie. <laughs> Means you're in it for the long haul, you know? All my friends love doing drugs, man. I love partying. Everybody knows that one person who takes the drug thing a little bit too far. We had that person in our crew, but we never realised he had a problem. We were like, oh, that's Gary, he just sweats a lot. <laughs> Turns out Gary was doing heroin. <laughs> January of last year, Gary's doing heroin. February goes to rehab, beats it. We're like, yeah, go Gary. March, vegan. <laughs> I'll be honest, man, kind of wish he was still on heroin. <laughs> At least heroin addicts keep it a secret. <laughs> yeah! I go for the hard targets! <laughs> Here's a question for you, Melbourne man. Do you think we're getting a little bit too PC? Yeah. We might be in it. Every year we lose a Halloween costume. <laughs> might be getting a little bit too PC, right? We now have racial emojis. Remember when all emojis were yellow? And nobody gave a shit? I'll tell you why I don't like these new racial emojis, because I had no idea what shade of black I am. Until these new emojis came out, but apparently I am second to last black. On holiday, I'm the guy on the end, but... <laughs> this is nice, though. I love doing comedy, man. I used to have a normal job. I used to work as a security guard and as a bouncer. It's a weird job when you work as a bouncer, man. You get a lot of insults. I'll tell you the worst insult I ever got working as a bouncer, right? It was from a student. Little shit, right? <laughs> the future, my ass, right? It was a simple insult. This kid, he just looked at me and he went, yeah, you're a bouncer. Is that what you always wanted to be? <laughs> oh. You're cutting deep there, say something about my mum. Like, because I can't give a real answer. I can't be like, well, actually, I want to be a comedian. Well, that's not going to make things better. Also, there was no moment I realised I wanted to be a bouncer. It's not like I was in school as a kid and my teacher sent me out to class for talking and I stood next to the door and I was like, actually, I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> oh, I think the career opportunities are out here, to be honest. This has been dope. I've been Darren Harriet. Cheers.